Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Zombieland. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and a welcome if you're new. Today, we're diving into a fun horror comedy movie, one that's been out for quite a while, and that's Zombieland. This movie, I do remember seeing trailers for it back in the day, back when it was coming out in the early 2000s, and I remember thinking it looked really funny at the time, but I just never got around to seeing it, and now I'm pretty excited to dive on into it because seeing the cast... It definitely looks like a pretty fun cast with Emma Stone and Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg, so I think it should be a fun time. This was definitely a fun poll over on my Patreon page. We had some interesting choices in that poll, and I definitely didn't think that this one was going to be the winner because there were some other ones in there that I thought people wanted to see more. So this one surprised me, but I think I have a lot of zombie lovers in my audience, which is concerning because I, I, I hate zombies. <laughs> I hate zombies, um, but I think if I was to watch a zombie movie, I would prefer to watch a comedy than an actual scary zombie movie. I know there have been some folks who've been requesting that I do the Dawn of the Dead series, and I don't, I know I couldn't do the whole series, but maybe a movie or two, but uh, I don't know if we'll get to that this year, but I definitely think I've got some zombie fans in the audience here. So if you like zombies, let me know down in the comments below. For those of you that don't know, I do have a Patreon page where I post all my full length reactions to everything we watch on over here. Those are always posted in a watch along style format so you can sync up your own copy and watch the movie along with me. And I'm also doing a lot of polls over there this month and in the next few months to help me decide what I'm gonna be watching next. So if you like having a little more say in the direction of this channel, definitely make sure to go to my description bar below and click that link to Patreon. All in all, though, I don't have too much to say about this movie, and I kind of just want to jump right into it and have some fun today with you guys. Should be interesting, should be funny, and uh, should be a good time. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh boy. Are these going to be like really powerful, fast zombies? Oh yeah, they're, they can move fast. And why am I alive when everyone around me has turned to meat? Yeah. Is it because you don't go outside? Poor fat bastard. Maybe I shouldn't be eating. I don't know if having a snack right now is a good decision. Which leads me to my second rule, the double tap. One more clean shot to the head. Or just run away, why are you standing there? As zombies began to outnumber humans. Are all the kids zombies? Oh no! My kid is an honor student, oh no. That's so sad. Which leads to rule number four, pretty basic. Wear a seatbelt. Ew. Oh, this is gonna be gross. <laughs> I can already tell. I also love how it's like it seems like businesses are still open. Like she was she was carrying a smoothie and then running away from a zombie. Like she just ordered a smoothie. Abigail Breslin's in this movie too? Oh my god, I had no idea. I may seem like an unlikely survivor with all my phobias and irritable bowels. No. This is before IBS was more common. <laughs> I survive because I play it safe and follow the rules. How did he know? It was just lurking in the bathroom. Cardio. <laughs> He's gotta try to get back to his car. Oh no, that's the kind of car you have, my dude? You don't have an automatic? <laughs> Jesus, no. Of course. Was it unlocked? That's hilarious. Oh my God, that was kind of high stakes. <laughs> because it was unlocked <laughs> no don't crash your car oh no i mean i guess crashing the car to get rid of the zombies is a good idea but you need your car oh right seat belt so i'm on my way from my college dorm in austin texas to columbus ohio where i'm hoping my parents are still alive oh i bet they're dead you know it's funny you think that more people in texas would have survived with their love of guns you know but it kind of makes sense that we're in texas because that would be where a survivor would be you know it'd be easier to get a gun there than some other states is he hiding behind a bike it's gonna be woody harrelson isn't it because we're getting country music <laughs> What is happening? 
Oh my god, it just went from facing off to can I get a ride? <laughs> what the? F That's so funny. Like a little standoff. Where are you headed? Columbus. You? Tallahassee. Tallahassee and Columbus are both uh... east. I guess they're not too far apart. I mean, it could be worse. I give this relationship to about Texarkana. Really? Yeah. You'll take me as far as Texarkana. <laughs> you're a peppy little spit, aren't you? <laughs> He's like, sure, wherever you'll take me, as long as we're heading east. It became quickly apparent, however, that he did have one weakness. What was his weakness? I could use a Twinkie. Oh, he likes Twinkies. One second. <clears throat> you should actually limber up as well, especially if we're going down that hill. It is very important. <clears throat> you ever see a lion limber up before it takes down a gazelle? Well, I don't think Jesse Eisenberg's character is a lion. <laughs> I think this would be the only way I would survive a zombie apocalypse, though, too, is if I had all these rules and protocols and I limbered up every day like Jesse Eisenberg. I feel like I'd be like that. Oh, look. Oh, no. It's no. Oh, wait. There's got to be Twinkies in there. Those are all the f the horrible ones. Snowballs. Ugh. Come on. There's got to be something else in there. Just I like snowballs. Oh my god, of course I he does. coconut, not the taste, the consistency. Me too! I mean, I don't really like the taste either. I just want shampoo to... I like coconut scent, but not really a fan of the flavor or the consistency. But especially the consistency. I'm gonna take the browns to the Super Bowl. Really? What? Oh, 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 I see what he's saying. <laughs> I don't know, I did not get that for a second there. I feel really bad. This would be such a horrible time to have stomach issues. But the thing I fear more than anything, yes, even more than zombies, clowns oh my god why did we need that when you're afraid of everything that's out there you quit going out there oh he was he was scared of the world before zombie land he was a, yeah he stayed inside all the time that's why i thought he survived my whole life all i'd ever wanted was to find a girl and fall in love oh my god is he gonna fall in love with emma stone oh thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> nice to meet you is this when the zombie thing was starting? Maybe she was freaking out because her boyfriend was a zombie or something? He tried to bite me. Oh God, did she get bit? I wonder if she did get bit. I, I had always, my whole life, wanted to brush a girl's hair over her ear. <laughs> he's too scared to do it. <laughs> Good night. She just assumes he's ready for bed too. Like, can I sleep on you? Why do I feel like she got bit and is gonna turn into a zombie or something? Oh my God. Oh, this was the first person he had to kill. I mean, she's technically already dead. Get a knife, bro! Get a knife! A blender! I wanna hurt you, but... <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> this would be me. When I kill bugs, I, like, apologize to them. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Double tap. Yeah, that's where he got the rule. In fact, the only thing he was more obsessed with than killing zombies was finding a Twinkie. <laughs> well, Twinkies will survive a long time, so you probably will find one. Some, And then it will probably still taste equally as good as when it was made. Believe it or not, Twinkies have an expiration date. Oh, they do? I probably would do it for, like, my favorite food, too. I mean, hell, why not? Oh, he's gonna call them all to the front with his banjo? <laughs> he's gonna use his banjo? I thought that was... I thought he liked his banjo. I guess not. I guess he doesn't care about it. All right. Don't swing! Don't swing! Swing! <laughs> I don't trust her. I don't trust Emma Stone. She looks like she's trouble. Rule number 22. When in doubt, know your way out. Smart man. Look at him. Oh, she did need help. Okay, maybe I was being a little and should have trusted her. We already said goodbye, but... Um... I didn't have a con. I can't imagine that they're gonna kill Abigail Breslin right now. I, I just feel like this is a setup. Why do I feel like this is not? I'll do it. Yeah, see, she wants the gun. She wants the gun. They're totally trying to steal their weapon and rob these guys. That's totally their plan. There's no way, yeah. Now that you mention it, we'll take your weapons, your car keys, your ammunition. Of course, the first hot girl in a thousand miles shows up. Makes me feel like an idiot, steals my double barrel, and then says I'm the one that can't be trusted. Don't worry, I'm sure you guys will cross paths again very soon. Nice going, genius. You're the one that gave her the gun. Yeah, I was gonna say, Woody, this is your fault. Look at what we got here. Oh, I mean, it's a gas guzzler, but that's a pretty good car to get for a zombie apocalypse. What's in there? Oh, f yeah. 
They hit the mother load. They got a better car and a better, I mean, a Cadillac's really nice, but for this kind of shit, a Hummer is probably really helpful. And they got better guns. Oh, he's gonna paint it. What is his deal with three? And it's in pristine condition too. Oh, you want to talk about home? For me, home was a puppy named Buck. Cutest dog ever. Oh my God, we're gonna see the dog. He fed the dog pancake. Oh, the dog. Oh, guys, I don't want to see a dog dying. I lost him. No. Are we going to find Buck magically? But I'm writing it down. Rule number 32. Enjoy the little things. He's going to have a whole, like, guide by the end of this. Oh, my God. No f way. They turned the three into help. How the tables have turned. Oh, God, where are they? Don't underestimate him, Woody. No. They're hiding behind the hay bales, aren't they? They're totally hiding behind the hay bales. They're hiding behind the hay bales. It's so obvious. Looks like they hooked it. No, they didn't. No, they're in the car. Just me. Up. You got taken hostage by a 12 year old. 12's the new 20. Gun, please. Oh my God. You would ever use that thing. Don't kill me with my own gun. <laughs> These women are horrible. Oh, at least they're taking them with them. They didn't ditch them this time. That's nice. She's not your typical hot, stuck up. What do you mean? She's so bitchy. <laughs> She's been so mean to you. I really, really want to impress Wichita, but it would be in direct violation of Rule 17. Oh no, of Rule 17. I was going to say, don't break your rules. Don't be a hero. Why don't you take this one? <laughs> Zombie kill of the week. Close, but no cigar. Oh, we're going to have a zombie kill of the week. Poor flat bastard. She just had a piano rigged up there ready to go to a bell. Oh my God. Isn't that hilarious that like they put all that effort and work into doing that trick for just like two seconds of the movie. <laughs> it was worth it. It was fun. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Nah. Oh, she's going to break a snow globe. That actually would be kind of satisfying to throw a snow globe. Oh, now I'm just thinking about all the work that had to go into this scene because, you know, they probably wanted to shoot some things more than once and resetting something after it's been broken. There's no way you can redo the marble scene. That's a one, a one shot only. We're only doing that once. Come on now. Some of this would be so stress inducing as a member of the art department <laughs> like this. The, I feel like you got to do this once, too. You break the I mean, unless you have a bunch of shelves on standby ready to be broken again. Don't worry about don't a blind spot. Oh, they're teaching her how to drive. She's way too young to learn how to drive, but they're teaching her. So do you never strap in or it's just... <laughs> I like how they're all giving her tips. Like, that is something that people would totally do. She's wearing the wig. Okay, right. So <gasps> Popular, they're listening to Wicked. <laughs> it's like everybody's getting a turn at the radio. I love it. For the first time in a long time, we were having fun. Aww. Oh, and then I bet they're gonna get to Pacific Playland and it's gonna be, it's gonna be really sad. It's gonna be overrun by zombies or something. Maybe they're gonna still try to have fun even though there's zombies. I feel like driving through Los Angeles is the worst idea. I'm like surprised the road isn't just completely blocked by cars. We are going to the tippy top of the A-list. It ain't Bob Marley. BM, BM, BM. Billy Madison, <laughs> I don't know. Oh! Oh my god! Bill Murphy! Or Murray! Murphy. Murray! Murray! Oh my god. I bet he's still alive and he's gonna be pissed. Who's Bill Murray? Yeah, I've never hit a kid before. <laughs> There's definitely someone in. Is Bill here? Is Bill gonna make a cameo in this movie? Oh, this is so exciting. You're about to learn who you're gonna call. A lot of people have like requested that I do Ghostbusters, but the only reason I haven't is because because I've actually seen that movie like a lot. I mean, not a lot, a lot. I couldn't quote the whole thing, but I could quote dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Oh, Bill, are you a zombie? Would he have done a cameo for this movie? I wasn't expecting this. Uh-oh. Bill! Bill, why are you a zombie? <laughs> ah! Oh, maybe he's not. Maybe he was pretending to be one to scare them out. You're okay. The hell I am! Wait, oh my god. God damn it, Bill <laughs> Murray! <laughs> I had to get that out. I don't mean to go. <laughs> They've broken his house. Maybe not lately, but I'm I'm such a huge fan of yours. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, can you get out of my house? <laughs> oh my god, I love watching Woody Harrelson fangirl over Bill Murray. This is so cute. How about a little West Coast hospitality? Can I wait? He's like, thanks for breaking into my house. Can I get you something? <laughs> Oh my god! He's probably happy to see people. I really didn't think Bill Murray was gonna be in this movie. This is so funny. 
Oh, what Light a up, Ray. Oh my God, they're doing the they're <laughs> they're reenacting Ghostbusters. Oh my God, and there's a Twinkie reference in Ghostbusters too. That's amazing. So Columbus is the scared one. Yeah. I'll get him. Oh no. No, he's gonna kill Bill Murray. No, 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 no. He's gonna kill. No, he's gonna kill Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they think that that was a good idea? Is that how you say hello? Where are you coming from? Well, you guys, you guys shouldn't have pulled this kind of prank. If it means anything now, I am so sorry. It's my bad. Oh my god. I was never a very good practical joker. <laughs> I can't believe we killed Bill Murray. <laughs> I mean, I can, cause like he's not gonna be in this whole movie. He would probably only do a couple scenes. That was a long death sigh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he just gets me. <laughs> Even when he's dying? But it still is sad. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we killed Bill Murray. That's really sad. We murdered Bill Murray. <laughs> oh, it's funny though. And the worst thing about Zealand? Illusion Buck. Aww. Yeah. Oh, I, I bet Buck will come back. That would be so great. Maybe I just am way too ho hopeful, but we keep bringing him up. I feel like he's got to come back. My personality, my laugh. Because this movie seems like it's going to have like a happy ending. Laugh. And that's when it hit me. <gasps> Was Buck a person, not a dog? Is he just imagining that it's a kid? Is it really a kid? Was it really a kid? We made this walk together out of duct tape. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh God, I can't handle Woody Harrelson crying. Oh no, this is a comedy. I'm not supposed to cry. <laughs> ah! I haven't cried like that since Titanic. Jesus Christ, oh no. Shit, oh my God, this just got so sad. Aw, and he's bonding with the other kid now. Now it just makes me sad. It's a 97. Yeah, was that a good year? It was a great year. Are you kidding me? It's my first R-rated movie. <laughs> great year for her, yeah. I was a literal baby in 97. I was like four. You guys use tongue? Use tongue? Do you use tongue? <laughs> I had my first uh, school dance. Sadie Hawkins, so girl's choice. Oh. What, nobody picked you? It was girl's choice. <laughs> Aww. I will not stand for this. Huh. Is she gonna dance with him? Aww. <laughs> He's like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. That's so cute. Oh, that's really cute. No. There you go. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my god. He's so innocent. I, w I bet they're like almost gonna kiss and then something's gonna happen. You're actually kind of cute. Aww. I mean, you get the guts of a guppy, but I could hit that. <laughs> it's kind of romantic in a, in a sweet way, because that's really all he wants. <laughs> or at least give you the intentional walk to first. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that means a lot. Hey, a little help moving the couch? I'm making a fort. <laughs> making a fort. He doesn't care at all. Yeah, that's probably for the best, right? No, she's rationalizing it now. Oh, it's gonna kill him. But uh, my sister and I are gonna do whatever it takes to survive, so. Oh no. Oh, that just broke his heart. Oh God. Woody, why'd you gotta do that to my man, Jesse? When I woke up the next day and she was leaving. No. Trust no one, just you and me. Just you and me. Yeah, you and me. Oh, that was really f***ed up though, guys. You didn't have to leave him there like that. Oh, they're gonna go to Pacific Playland? Oh no. The thing is though, I'm like, you can't ride half of these rides. Why do I feel like there are gonna be zombies everywhere? Even though that really wouldn't make sense because the gates were locked, but I just worry about them. Why do I feel like this is gonna draw attention from all the zombies? I'm just nervous. I'm just like irrationally terrified. Yep, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. They're all gonna come to Pacific Playland, aren't they? They're all gonna go. Oh, they're all coming. Also, how do you stop the ride? I guess it's set for a certain amount of time, I don't know. Guys, guys! Oh, f Wow, they move so fast. I'm going after Wichita. Look, you ever read that book, she's just not that into you? 
You can't make yourself too available. Too available? It's a zombie apocalypse, bro. I don't think playing hard to get works in this world. I think she would appreciate the help, actually. Wichita! Oh my god. This is horrible. Two, three! Oh, they're bailing? They just bailed? I mean, there's more zombies coming. There! Oh, they're gonna climb a tower? Uh, can't these guys climb too? I mean, at least she can shoot now. Man, bangs are really cool, but they, I love bangs. Like, I miss my bangs so much, but they're just not practical in a world like this. Always gonna get in the way of your eyesight. That'll do, pig. That'll do, pig, that'll That's do. That's the worst goodbye I've ever heard. And you stole it from a movie. Woody, you guys aren't saying goodbye. You're gonna go after him too. I think my favorite goodbye from a movie would be from The Truman Show. In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <sighs> Okay, just get in the car. That's embarrassing. Hop in the car, Evil Knievel. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> that's so funny. They really strapped themselves in there with the hope that that thing would just take off. Wow, what an exhilarating experience. Oh my God. Are they just gonna hope that it goes forever? Does it go until people stop it? Oh no. This was not a really great plan of theirs, to be honest. These are my least favorite kinds of rides, too. What is your plan, to stay up here forever? Exhale, come on, you got it. You got it, Little Rock, just exhale, you got it. Yeah, Oh, little Abigail Breslin is so cute. I think they might actually require our assistance this time. <laughs> Can he see them from here? Or maybe he just sees all the zombies. What are you waiting for? It's your gal. Yeah, but you're gonna go storming in there. Oh! He's gonna draw all the zombies to him? Oh, I don't want Tallahassee to die. Come on, you have to Oh no, Tallahassee. Oh, I don't want him to die. Oh, what happens when he runs out of ammunition? There's so many of them. Maybe I really shouldn't worry about Tallahassee. Maybe he's just superhumanly good at this. Oh, he's gonna go into a haunted house right now? Oh my God. Well, that's a literal nightmare. Okay, that's a literal terrifying nightmare. Haunted houses aren't supposed to be like that. Ah. Is he gonna get on a roller coaster while shooting zombies? Oh my god, this is incredible. This is so funny. I actually really am happy that they, like, incorporating an amusement park into a movie like this is really clever and cute. Oh my lord. Oh my god, he's such a professional. Oh, there's, there's just too many of them. Oh, I don't want Tallahassee to die. He's gonna run out. No. Oh, this music is so epic, though. No. <gasps> oh my god. Those zombies are gonna get taken out by the thing. Yes, they're gonna get smushed in slow-mo. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, good job, girl. She got it with the butt of her gun. Good job. Holy shit. No, he did not. No, he did not. He killed them all? He got all of them. Mother is too good at this. Oh my god. What? Look at this clown. Oh, it's a clown? Is it a clown zombie? Oh no, he's gotta face off his worst fear. No, it had to be a clown, and it had to be Wichita for me to finally understand that some rules are made to be broken. Be a hero! <laughs> yes! Be a hero! Ew, why do they foam at the mouth like that? With like spit and blood, it's really just so disgusting. I really hate it. Get him! Ah, oh, yes! Quick, get him while he's down. Oh! <laughs> Clown nose. That's so funny. Oh, come on. What's he gonna do? He doesn't have his gun anymore. Oh no, this is so bad. What is he gonna do? Emergency break. Oh, good job. Good job. You really need a weapon though now, dude. All of you guys need ammunition. Krista. Oh, that's her name? Krista? Oh. What's his name? I actually don't know what his name is. Aww. <laughs> Where are you, you spongy yellow delicious bastards? Where yep. are you? <laughs> this whole f movie, all he wanted was a Twinkie. Oh, he deserves a Twinkie too. You want a snowball or something? Oh, why? don't say that to him. You're gonna get punched. What the f was that? Is it a mouse? Maybe it was a mouse and there's Twinkies in there. There's gotta be Twinkies somewhere. Ah! <gasps> yeah, it's a rat, right? right? Oh, God. Oh, did they eat all the Twinkies? Words cannot express. Yeah, shut the f 
up, Columbus. Do you think you can maybe just pick out the buckshot? Oh, he shot the Twinkies. He shot the Twinkies. Oh. Oh, she found a Twinkie. <gasps> she found a Twinkie! Rule number 32. Enjoy the little things. Oh, he's gonna cry. Oh. As he savored that spongy yellow log of cream, we had hope. Aww. Oh my god, they've been staring at each other smiling for like so long. <laughs> it's been like a cheesy smiling, just staring at each other session for a long time. <laughs> I'm Columbus, Ohio from Zombieland saying good night. Oh, that's cute. That was so cute. That was a fun movie. That was really cute. I know I'm about like 12 years too late with this one, but I, well, yeah, 12 years too late, but it was still really fun and still really exciting and I liked it and it was cute and just a fun cast too because a lot of these people are still around to this day and doing interesting things. So it's funny to see them in a movie like this, especially, you know, I just love Woody Harrelson. So I love anything he does and it was just a fun time. I have an easier time with zombie movies like this when I can like handle it. It feels more palatable to me when it's a comedy. They still just freak me out so much and gross me out. But in a horror, I get really spooked out by zombies. So this is a fun one to do for this time of year. I don't have too much to say about it. It was just kind of fun, lighthearted and really enjoyable. And I am excited to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Any other horror comedies that you like? The next Natmare movie I do will likely be an actual scary movie. But this is a nice one for me to just kind of watch while I'm doing The Haunting of Hill House because The Haunting of Hill House is a bit intense for me and spooky. So I liked throwing in something that was a little bit lighter and still kind of fun for Halloween, but just easier for my brain. And with all that being said, I don't really have too much to say about it. It was just fun and playful, and I really appreciate the suggestion. I hope you guys liked this video as well. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys want to see more stuff like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next, and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye!